Friends, we all know that full form of PID controller is proportional, integral, derivative, controller. But we don't know why is it? In today's video, we will understand the meaning of all these terms and why these names have been given to them. Let's discuss. First of all, we will see P for proportional term. So, friends, the proportional term is proportional to the change in the present error. We have discussed the error in the previous video. Those who have not seen it can see it. Link will be found in your description. Let us understand further. The set point is fixed. But the process value or process variable keeps on changing. So, the difference means error between them also keep on changing. Proportional term of PID controller is proportional to the present value of this error. Now, because this term is proportional to the error, so it is called a proportional term. So, friends, this is the reason why it is named proportional. P term is clear. Let's see I for integral. Before that, you need to know that what was missing in P so that I term had to be introduced. When we use only P term in PID controller, an offset is there. To understand this offset, you can see this graph. Like, see this. Offset means the process variable deviates from the set point. Deviate means to be different. So, offset is the error. One thing is very clear from here. That, when we use only P term in PID controller, then an error remains and the process variable does not reach the set point. Offset is also called steady state error. To bring this error to the set point, I term is used. This integral term examines the process variable and the offset over the time. And by correcting the output, the value of the process variable is brought to the set point. You can also see this from this graph. So, the integral term, in a way, depends on the accumulation of past errors. Now because, in mathematics, integration is used for over-the-time calculation. Therefore, this term is called integral or integration term. Using the integral term, the steady state error becomes zero. So, I term is also clear. Now let's understand. D for derivative term, derivative term or derivative action. Monitors the rate at which the process variable is changing. At what rate it is changing? It means how fast the change is happening or how slowly the change is happening. Let me explain this further. As we have studied in mathematics, that is, dx over dt is the rate of change of x with respect to time. Means, with respect to time, at which rate x is changing, which is derivative or differentiation. Here, it is the rate of change of error with respect to time. That's why it is called derivative term or derivative action. Let's make it more clear. To calculate the future behavior of the error signal, the PID controller computes the rate of change of error and accordingly updates the output. I hope you must have got clear D term from here. So this conclusion came out from here that 
proportional term depends on the present error. Integral term depends on past errors. And derivative term predicts future behavior of error. I think it is clear to you. If you still have the doubts, you can ask in comments. If you want to know where P only controller, PI controller, PID controller are used, and how to understand PID controller from its graph, so reply, we will make a video. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do like and share. Also, press the bell icon for more updates and uploads.